And if you ask a Jamaican, they will tell you it all fell there, or it is not true. <laughs> so the story I'm gonna share with you tonight is called Anansi and Nan Goat. There was an old man who owned a very large banana plantation. And in his younger years, he would watch the plantation day and night. And as he got older, he realized he needed a little help. So he put up a sign and put out the word that he was looking for a field worker. Now, Anansi got word and decided that he was going to do the job. I mean, if nothing else, he would be able to eat every day. So Anansi went to the old man and said, Sir, I am the person you're looking for. So the old man said, Anansi, what kind of recommendation do you have? Anansi didn't have any recommendation. But watch how it go. And Nancy said, sir, I don't have anything written down, but I used to work for an old barber man. And well, in all the years I worked for him, I never caught nobody and I never get caught. So the old man thought about it and he said, well, if you didn't cut yourself, that's good. But you didn't cut anybody else, that means you must be really good. So the old man said, well, Nancy, that is a great recommendation. When can you start? And Nancy said, right now. So, the old man watched the plantation at day, and Anansi watched it at night. Well, at night time, Anansi would watch all of the bananas and think to himself, six foot, seven foot, eight foot, bunch, daylight come and go and go, go. Well, Anansi would count the little bananas and take one or two, thinking that the old man would never notice. Over time, the old man started to realize that bananas were going missing. And he suspected Anansi. Well, Anansi would come in every day, good night, sir, good evening, and work and do the job. But the old man decided he was going to set a trap for Anansi. So on one particular day, the man climbed up a tree and put some tar so that anybody who climbed that particular tree would get stuck. He was making sure he never got caught and came out of the tree. That night when Anansi started, the old man said, hi, hi, Anansi, how you doing? And Anansi said, hi, boss man, I'm doing well. And they showed all their teeth. <laughs> Anansi went one way and the old man went the other. So Anansi watched them walk through the fields and look, check out the bananas. But he noticed there was a, a strange looking figure in one of the trees. So Anansi cried out, aye, aye, come out of the tree and nothing happened. So Anansi went over the tree and said, didn't you hear me, Mr. Come Out? And nothing happened. So Anansi took back his arm and went and hit the tree. But his arm didn't come back. So Anansi thought, ah, yeah, let me go, let me go, let me go. But when he realized, nothing happened. So he pulled back his other hand and hit the tree. Now both hands were stuck. What was Anansi to do? Anansi quickly realized that there was nobody in the tree and that he was stuck. So he wiggled and whirled and twisted up himself until he was completely attached to this tree. Now this tree sat near the road, so all Anansi could do was wait. So he waited and he waited, and lo and behold, Hug came down the road. Hum, hum, hum. So Anansi cried out, Brother Hug, come help me. Hug looked at Anansi and said, No, I'm not going to help you because you're the reason why I'm about so long. Well, that's a different story, I have to tell you another day. So, Anansi cried out, Hug, forgive me, forgive me, man, come and help me. <clears throat> and Hug went on. So, Anansi had to wait a little more. And he waited and he waited, and lo and behold, Sister Nanny Goat came down the road. So, Anansi cried out, Sister Nanny Goat, please help me. And Sister Nanny Goat said, Sure. So, she walked over to the tree, bent her head, and boom! Buck Anansi off the tree. Anansi flew up into the air and landed in the grass. When Anansi got up and dusted himself off, he realized, oh wait, Sister Nanny Goat's horn was stuck to the tree. And no matter how she wiggled, and she wiggled, she couldn't get off. So Anansi said, don't worry, Sister Nanny Goat, I will help you. And he found a big stick. Well, at the time that Anansi found the big stick, the old man came round the corner. I hi, I catch you. But wasn't the old man shocked? He expected to see a Nancy on the tree, but instead he saw Sister Nanny Goat and it grieved him. Sister Nanny Goat, oh, you good teeth, my banana. I thought we were friends. Well, Sister Nanny Goat tried to tell him that it was Bra Nancy, and she opened up her mouth to say, Bra, and a Nancy took her with a stick. 
and say, shut up your mouth in the old man field. And the more the man cried out his dismay, Nanny Goat kept trying to tell him that it was Bra Nancy. Bra, Bra, and Nancy took her each and every time. When the old man was finished, he said, take her off the tree. And then Nancy used the same stick that he kept juking Nanny Goat with and took her off the tree. Nanny Goat came off the tree and she looked back to say, she really wanted to tell him the truth and turned around to look at the old man. But I don't know whether it was her side hurting or the flashback from all the joking, but the only thing she could say was, bra, 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 bra. And from that day until that day, that is the only thing that goats can say. Bra, 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 bra. If a Nancy make it so. <laughs> and every story concludes with Jack Mandora, me not choose none. <laughs> it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight. And in Jamaica, we never say goodbye, we say wah good.